Hey, my name is Nick from Stated Woods Co. and Phantom CNC Dealer. In this video, I'm gonna teach you all about the oilers, the automatic and manual oilers that show up on all of the Phantom CNC series machines. The really cool thing about these machines is that they come with oilers. They're either gonna be automatic or manual like you see right here. Now, what that means is that you don't have to invest or take the time to sit there and grease gun any of your fittings on your bearing blocks. Now let me show you what a bearing block is. So there are a total of 12 bearings on your CNC machine. There's gonna be two on each side of the gantry on the Z height, so four on the Z height, two on the X axis, and then two on each stanchion on the Y axis directions. On a CNC, anywhere that you have motion on your mechanics, you're gonna have bearing blocks. Now, with Phantom CNC specifically, we use all rack and pinion motion. So you have your servo motors or your stepper motors on a helical rack, and then you have the bearing blocks which ride on the ways. This is what's gonna give you your stability and your fluid motion. Now what really sets Phantom CNC apart is the fact that they have automatic or manual oilers connected to all of these bearing blocks. And what that means is that there are small oil lines run into each of the bearing blocks. So all 12 have these lines, and it's just got a quick connect fitting that goes right into it. When you pump your oil through, it's gonna run oil right into the bearing block and oil everything. That's why you don't have to use that grease gun. Anytime an oil line makes a turn into an object, so any mechanical fitting that it goes into where it has to make a turn and there could be any type of resistance or rubbing on that oil line, they have covered it with a metal spring material which increases its stability and its structure and reduces the chance of any type of rubbing and breakage in your oil lines. Now you're probably wondering what type of oil to put in your oil reservoir tank. The simplest thing to do is go to any of your local auto stores, Walmart, Advance Auto, O'Reilly's, any of those, and pick up any cheap 10W30. It doesn't need to be synthetic, just something really cheap. And you don't need a big container like this. All you really need, no matter the series of machine, all you really need is a quart size container of oil. It's gonna take a lot less oil on these units than you expect. Now there's gonna be two types of oilers. You're gonna have an automatic oiler on our big ATC units, or you're gonna have the manual pump oilers on our four x fours and the S series machines. And simply all you're gonna do is fill your reservoir tank with oil, and then you're gonna pump it three times every so often. Now this sort of schedule of how to do it is simple. If you're running your machine every single day, five, seven days a week, 10, 12 hours at a time, you're gonna want to oil your machine probably once a month. Now, if you're a hobbyist and you're running your machine 10, 12 hours a week, then you can extend that and go every three months, pump your unit three times. Less is more on these units, and there's reasons why. Bearing blocks all have gaskets inside of them, and those gaskets can only hold so much pressure of oil before the gaskets start to leak. So you don't wanna over oil it, and especially if you're working with wood, there's nothing worse than getting drips of oil on your wood surface while you're cutting. So to save your work pieces from having any oil drips, the machines are all built in with drip guards. So there's little trays underneath your Z housing here and on your gantry system, and that is designed to catch any type of oil that does drip out. I wanna make it clear though, you don't wanna over oil too much or you're gonna be fighting with a lot of drips over the next little bit until that bearing starts to absorb all that and that oil sorta of gets burned off. So the automatic oilers are basically the same thing except you don't have to manually pump it. So you're gonna put your 10W30 oil in the reservoir tank and everything that you need to do is not controlled here at the box itself, but actually on the control cabinet. The top of the oiler reservoir tank is already pre-programmed to run for a specific interval of time when you hit your oiler button. So all you have to do on these automatic tool change units with the big towers is simply come over and hit this oil button. Every time you push the oil button, it's gonna kick on the pump and run that oiler. It's amazing how nice these oilers are on these units. Not having to sit there and manually grease things saves you a ton of time. It's just really nice to have that advantage on these units all the time and really cuts down on your maintenance time astronomically. So I hope this video helped you understand a little bit more about your CNC. And until next time, have fun with your CNC.